All right, what's going on, dudes, and welcome back to the wonderful world of Hexit. Since we last left off, I did a few things, first of which was, of course, that I missed you dearly, but that goes without saying. Secondly, I went back and fetched that Hexit flower that I missed a few episodes back, so no need to worry about that anymore. Brings our total in our inventory up to four, combined with the three we have in the chest, which means we get to make our first piece of Hexit armor, and we're actually only one hexagonal essence away from making the second piece as well. So, pretty cool stuff. We'll get to that in a couple minutes. Secondly, I emptied out our backpack, so we got some more stuff in the chests around here, and some more inventory space for when we go on our next adventure. And third off, I ran a little test, and the test proved to have pretty cool results. So as it turns out, well, you can see I've got cloud boots on, right? You see me jumping pretty high and stuff. Well, if we land on the water right now, oh, that's pretty nifty. What do you know? I'm, I'm making an ice trail when I walk and stuff. How is this possible? First, I have to toggle downfall because the rain is silly. Um, so it turns out I don't have to be wearing the Freezerite boots to be able to walk on water. I just have to have a piece of Freezerite armor in general. So that means I can have cloud boots and walk on water at the same time. Unfortunately, it has its issues in that you're not meant to impact the water with such velocity while you're wearing the uh, the freezer right. So sometimes you end up in the water. It's uh, a little bit glitchy, but it works some of the time. If you want to just combat the problem, you just run normally. Um, but sometimes when you jump, it's a little bit of an issue, like right there. <laughs> anyway, that's what happened since we last left off. Some pretty cool new developments, you know? So let's head back up, and what I thought we'd do is go ahead and, well, first off, obviously we need to make some Hexed Armor, because that stuff is pretty sweet. And uh, secondly, I actually wanted to, um, I guess, repair some of my existing armor. Not that any of it really needs that much in terms of repair, actually. Um, but I don't know. Perhaps we can... Eh, we might be good in the armor department. Um... So let's see, let's look into the crafting recipe for the Hexed Armor. I actually looked into the different types. So we have the Scale Armor, which are the last four purpley scale looking armor things. Um, all of the Hexed Armors, there are three of them. So we have the Scale and the Thief, which is this one. And we have the, god dang it, which one, what's it called? Um, it is the Tribal Armor. Um, all three of them have different benefits, so none of them is inherently better than the other. But what it looks like the sets do is the tribal set gives you a jump boost, more or less, when you're wearing a full set. It also gives you night vision, I think, and it gives you strength as well. Then the thief armor set, when you're wearing the full thing, again, it gives you a speed boost, it gives you night vision, and it gives you strength one. Um, but in both of those cases, I'm not really a fan of the night vision because the night vision, especially during the day, is just kind of, I don't know, intrusive and distracting. So the scale armor, which is what we were leaning towards anyway, um, it turns out that what that gives you is it gives you strength, which is the same as the rest, but it also gives you resistance and it gives you fire resistance. So I think we're going to go for that, not to mention... The helmet looks freaking awesome. Um, you'll see, I was looking at a, an image online, and I think we're gonna make the helmet first because even though it's, uh, well actually, let's look at the recipe. So it requires obsidian, which I don't think we have actually. We're gonna go need to fetch that. Um, but I think despite the fact that obviously a chest plate, I just searched despite um, because, <laughs> um, let's just search scale. Despite the fact that a chest plate is obviously more protective, it still uses the same amount of hexical di uh, essences, interestingly enough, or hexit diamonds as well. So obviously it's more cost efficient to make a chest plate, but the helmet looks so friggin' sweet that I think we might need to do that first, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't know. Or we can make a chest plate because the chest plate is more protective. Oh, it's such a. It's like a. Oh, I should flip a coin. Except I don't have any coins around here. What should I do? I'm gonna flip an SD card. <laughs> Not gonna flip it too high up in the air, but here we go. I'm gonna close my eyes, and I just dropped it, and I need to call it first. Okay, so heads means, god dang it, I keep dropping it. Heads means chest plate, and, um, or heads means helmet. Actually, that would make more sense. Heads means heads, and tails 
which will be the non-logo side, uh, means chest plate. Okay, here we go. Gonna flip it around a few times in my hand, and here we go. Um, heads means we're making the helmet first. All right. <laughs> Interesting way to solve things. Thank you, SD card. So we're gonna need to fetch some obsidian anyway, I suppose. So we should probably head over to the mine area and find a bit of lava. Um, let's bring a bucket with us and fill it with water so that when we find a pool of lava, we can turn it all to obsidian and then we'll be good to go. All right. <laughs> um, so let's go to the cave that we can access with the first button and the horses are still here. I really have to figure out if I can ride the, the horse. There's gotta be a way. Hold on, let me search for different saddles. I know I'm getting sidetracked here, but there's still only one type of saddle. I may have to, I'm gonna, give me one sec. Give me one sec to go and, do I have a saddle back here? Do I, have I found one yet? I don't think I've even found one yet, so that's not gonna work. Um, well, it was worth a shot. Okay, so back over there. Eventually, we'll find a saddle in a dungeon. We'll try using one on the horse to see if we can ride it. Otherwise, uh, it's a no-go there. And this is probably going to be a place where cloud boots get a little annoying. Um, come to think of it, though, I need some water. Yeah, cloud boots. Kind of kind of not cool here. All right, well, I guess we'll have to go with a little bit less protection to avoid the hassle of hitting my head all the time. You guys are just crazy rolling all around. They see me rolling. And I am, I am hating on them. What can I say? I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. Um, all right. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm just going to cut until we found a pool of lava. Because it could take a little while knowing my sense of direction in caves. So yeah, I'm just going to... I'll see you when we find something. So I haven't yet found a pool of lava. However, I did just stumble upon a block I haven't seen before. I don't know if it's of any significance, although if you're watching this, it means it probably was. Otherwise, I wouldn't have included the footage. So let's find out what it is, hopefully, if it can be mined with a pickaxe. Otherwise, I may just accidentally destroy it. So here we go. What could this be? Um, I think we collected it. Ooh. Oh, are these meteorite blocks? Oh, man, this is freaking awesome. I didn't know you could get these without a meteor actually, like, crashing. Uh, unless a meteor did just crash like right on the other side of here, did it? Um, anything? No? Okay, well, apparently these just generated here naturally. Huh. Well, that's cool. I can't complain. Um, I haven't actually, we haven't gotten any of the, the meteor stuff naturally as of yet. All that we've gotten is we've had meteorite armor drop from infernal mobs. But other than that, uh, that's pretty friggin' cool, if I do say so myself. Uh, let's get the emerald as well. So, yeah. Alright, in that case, is there any more, or is it just that little vein right there? I guess it was just those three pieces. Anyway, in that case, I suppose we can... Actually, let's see what we can make with this. We haven't really looked into the meteor stuff too much, um, because, quite frankly, we haven't had a meteor crash as of yet. So let's see, meteor. What can we make with the meteor chips? Let's see. Um, that's how you make the meteorite armor. Ooh, 11 pages. Oh man, we can make meteorite tools. Um, meteorite pickaxe. We can remake a meteor. Oh, so those meteor blocks are worth four, but they only give you one in return. That's kind of a bummer. Um, oh, meteor shield. I wanted to make one of these in the beginning to protect Jerry's tree, but obviously the problem was we didn't have meteor chips. So now I think that's what I'm going to make. I love to make a meteor pickaxe and hope that it's better than, or fancy meteorite torches. Um, <laughs> I'd love to make the pickaxe and just see what it does or the sword or whatever, but better to be safe so that the first meteor that crashes isn't on Jerry's tree. Because knowing Murphy's Law, that's probably how it ended up working out. Uh, meteor timer? Can you actually summon meteors? Oh man, really? Is that something you can do? Meteor summoner? Oh my god. How is this even possible? Meteor proximity detector? How do you make the red meteor gem? Uh, with a block of... I have no idea how you get this stuff. Um, okay. Doesn't really solve any clues there. Doesn't solve any clues. Um, doesn't give us any clues is what I meant to say. Well, in that case... 
I guess we should, well, whenever we get back to Jerry's tree, we will make a, uh, a meteor shield. And good luck getting through that cobweb to get to me. Um, in that case, I guess we're back on the hunt to find a pool of lava. And I guess I'll see you when I see ya. Well, I think I found obsidian. That should work. Maybe at the bottom of the ravine, but we got our cloud boots on, so we won't take any fall damage. Just gotta be careful of the lava. Actually, let me put the water bucket in my hot bar, and then as soon as we drop on down there, we can just pour it out and get rid of any of the remaining lava. Here we go, and we. Oh, nope, wait, oh, it's leaves. Hold on, oh God, ow, why am I getting hurt? Ow, I don't know what happened there. Um, let me pull that back out, and okay. So, that solves our lava issue, and I guess, um, that's weird. Are the leaves being heated up by the lava or something? Never seen that before. Anyway, I suppose we shall... <gasps> it's more meteor! Oh my god, this is awesome. This stuff is just randomly generating down here, I guess. That's pretty sweet. Okay, let's walk... Oh, I can even... I can turn non-source blocks into uh, ice as well. That works with me. And another... Oh man, that's all we got. Okay. I'm not complaining, I'm not complaining. I thought that stuff was only accessible from actual meteors anyway, so... It's better than nothing. So here we go. Um, is there lava a level below this as well? Because if there is, I'm gonna be kinda sad. Let's see. God dang it, it's too deep. As in two layers deep, or more than two layers deep. So how am I gonna get this? Um... Hmm... How am I going to get the lava? I guess this way? This should work. Pretty please. Don't drop into the lava, don't drop into the lava. God dang it. God dang it. Um, let's see. Let me put a block right here. And I definitely don't want to drop the backpack. Okay. I guess I could use gravel, but I only have like a couple pieces. So, there we go. Um... Hmm. Try this again. Please don't. Please don't fall in. Please don't. Oh, god damn it. I swear. Just. God, god dang it. Okay. Try. Uh, are you seriously gonna fall in lava? Oh, you're falling in the lava because my inventory is full. Stupid. Throw away the sandstone and throw away. What else are we gonna throw away? We're gonna throw away the flint and the tin orb. Oh, don't you dare mess with me. Not here. Not around lava. You're dead. One hit. See you later, bud. Okay, let's try this again. We and... This should work now that my inventory isn't full. Please magnetize to me. You got this. You got this. Okay, there we go. Much better. Um, oh, this is where it would be really helpful to actually have a magnetizing set of armor, a piece of armor. So how many pieces of obsidian do we need in order to make the entire s we can actually make obsidian uh, tools I did not mean to search that anyway I want to look into that later so we need three plus five eight eleven and fifteen so we need fifteen total pieces of obsidian if we want to make the full set of scale armor which will obviously be a ways off we may as well get all the obsidian we need um, in order to just make the process easier when we do get more of the hexical essence. All right, there we go. And let's turn some more lava into more obsidian. Why don't we? There we go. We and oh, hey, that's you're you're done. You're done. Um I'm actually I kind of want to get rid of the the water here because it's really intrusive. Um but it looks like that's not going to happen all that easily, is it? Oh well, I guess we can fetch this. And here we go. Boom. All right, let's take out the creeper. Take him out with the arrow before he blows up because, God, this thing rapid fires so quickly. It's awesome. And you're done. What did you drop? A diamond pickaxe. How nifty. And let's throw something else out. I guess we don't need that. Another efficiency to diamond pickaxe. How convenient. Um, I don't need that. Okay. And let's try to get some more. Oh my god, there's... How did, how does a Chocobopedia, Chocobo Encyclopedia thing even, like, show up around these parts? Um, 
I need to get some of this other lava out of here. Boom, 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 boom. And keep on. God dang it. Just, ah, so much lava. It would have been much easier if I just found a pool that was only one deep, but uh, alas, it was not meant to be. Okay, well, at least we got our three obsidian for now. I'm probably just going to keep on, I don't know, mining things out around here until I've gotten 15, and then uh, we shall resume.